Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to install OmniSwitch on Android Nougat. Now, OmniROM has always had some of the most forward-thinking features out of all the custom ROMs out there. I don't personally run custom ROMs anymore, but back when I did, Omni was always my go-to. It's the little things like OmniSwitch, which is their custom multitasking interface that works like a quick launcher in a settings hub at the same time. In the past, there were ways to get this same functionality on older Android versions, but now, thanks to developer WrongWay213, we can get OmniSwitch on Android Nougat too. Now before we get started, I should mention that you'll need to have a custom recovery installed for this one because it's a flashable zip. And the zip is intended for stock Android 7.0 or an AOSP based custom ROM, but it should theoretically work on other Android versions. But again, it's only been tested on stock Nougat, so if you're trying it on anything else, at least make an Android backup before you begin. But to get started, just head to step 1 in my full tutorial and grab a copy of the flashable zip. Once you've done that, go ahead and boot into custom recovery. Now before you flash anything in custom recovery, it's always a good idea to make a full Android backup. You can read more about that at the full tutorial. But aside from that, just tap the install button from TWRP's main menu, then navigate to your download folder and select the omniswitch.zip file. From here, just swipe the slider to install the mod, and when that's finished, hit reboot system. Once you get back up, you'll be ready to try it out. So open the OmniSwitch app that you'll now find in your app drawer. From here, start by enabling the feature using the switch at the top of the screen. Once you do that, you may notice a notification saying OmniSwitch is running in restricted mode, but all that means is that you can't clear all recent apps, so it's a minor bug. Aside from that, you've got tons of customization options here. You can tweak the size of the icons in the multitasking UI, apply an icon pack, adjust background transparency, add buttons to the recent app view, and even reorder the existing buttons. That stuff is a matter of personal taste, so it'll take some experimenting. But one thing in particular I wanted to point out is this drag handle section. If you tap this configure drag handle button, you'll get an interface that lets you adjust the width and position of the trigger area that you use to access the multitasking interface. That should be pretty straightforward, but one thing I would suggest is tapping the color entry, then using the transparency slider at the bottom to make the trigger area completely invisible. After that, there's one more setting I'd like to highlight. This Manage Favorites menu lets you make a list of your favorite apps, and these will all be accessible from the main interface. Just tap Add to add a new one, then tick the box next to any of your favorites. But once you've got everything set up to your liking, using OmniSwitch is really easy. Just swipe in from the trigger area, then you'll see the multitasking UI on any screen. Like I said, you can set this up to add links to all sorts of common functions, and this arrow button in the bottom right will expand to show your favorite apps list. And even if you didn't set that up, you can tap the grid icon to show a list of every app on your phone, so it's not just about switching between recent apps. Overall, it's basically a multitasking interface for power users because it helps you get things done. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.